write the equation of the ellipse in standard form. Let's begin by analyzing the ellipse. Every ellipse has a major axis and a minor axis that cut the ellipse in half. The major axis is a longer axis, the minor axis is the shorter axis. Notice this ellipse has a vertical major axis, this axis here, and a horizontal minor axis, this axis here. The point of intersection of the two axes is the center. Notice the center is the point 2 comma negative 3. Because the ellipse has a vertical major axis, we'll write the equation in the form shown here on the right, which is the square of x minus h divided by b squared plus the square of y minus k divided by a squared equals 1, where a is greater than b. h comma k is the center. The length of the major axis is 2a. The length of the minor axis is 2b. Sometimes the a and b will be interchanged. Just remember, when we have a vertical major axis, the larger denominator is under the y part. The smaller denominator is under the x part. When we have a horizontal major axis, the larger denominator is under the x part, and the smaller denominator is under the y part. To begin, the center is the point 2 comma negative 3, which indicates that h equals 2 and k equals negative 3 for our equation. And now we need to determine the values of a and b. Again, the length of the major axis is 2a. Looking at the coordinate plane, the length of the major axis is 10 units, which gives us 2a equals 10. Dividing both sides by 2, we have a equals 5. This also indicates the distance from the center to the top of the ellipse. This distance here can be labeled a, which is 5. And the distance from the center to the bottom of the ellipse, this distance, is also a, which is 5. And then finally notice the length of the minor axis is 6 units which indicates 2b equals 6. Dividing both sides by 2, we have b equals 3. This also indicates a distance from the center to the right side of the ellipse is b or 3 units. And the distance from the center to the left side of the ellipse is also b equals 3. We have all the information we need to write the equation of the ellipse in standard form. Again, we have a vertical major axis and therefore the equation is the square of x minus h, which is the square of x minus 2, divided by b squared, which is the square of 3, and then plus the square of y minus k, which gives us the square of y minus negative 3, all divided by a squared, which is the square of 5, equals 1. Let's simplify. The final equation is the square of y minus 2, divided by 9 plus the square of y plus 3 divided by 25 equals 1. Let's take a look at a second example. Analyzing the ellipse on the coordinate plane, now notice the major axis is horizontal and the minor axis is vertical. The center is the point at negative 4 comma 5. Because we have a horizontal major axis, the equation in standard form is the square of x minus h divided by a squared plus the square of y minus k divided by b squared equals 1, where a is greater than b. The center is h comma k. The major axis has the length of 2a. The length of the minor axis is 2b. Because the center is negative 4 comma 5, we know that h equals negative 4 and k equals 5. The length of the major axis is the distance from x equals negative 10 to x equals 2, which is 12, which indicates 2a is equal to 12. Dividing both sides by 2, we have a equals 6. The length of the minor axis is 6 units, which indicates 2b equals 6. Dividing both sides by 2, we have b equals 3. This is all the information we need to write the equation in standard form. Again, using the equation for a horizontal major axis, the square of x minus h is the square of x minus negative 4, divided by a squared, which is the square of 6, 
Notice because we have a horizontal major axis, the larger denominator is under the x part. And then we have plus the square of y minus k, which is the square of y minus five, divided by b squared, which is the square of three, equals one. Simplifying, we have the square of x plus four, divided by 36, plus the square of y minus five, divided by nine equals one. I hope you found this helpful.